It's the roof of Europe and one of the most iconic sites in the world. The Jungfrau at 4,158 metres towers over this part of the Swiss Alps, looking down even on the peaks of the Eiger and the Munch nearby. For more than two centuries, this forbidding spot has drawn artists, writers and hardy tourists braving the elements to experience what Mark Twain described as the most impressive mountain mass that the globe can show. The Jungfrau, or Maiden, was first ascended in 1811 by two Swiss brothers guided by a pair of local chamois hunters. But it was at the end of the 19th century, when the railways reached this area, that the struggle to carry people up these slopes really began. Many people put forward speculative ideas to make the Jungfrau more accessible, but it was the Swiss entrepreneur Adolf Giatella who had the breakthrough. While hiking, he had a vision of cutting a railway tunnel through the mountains to reach the summit of the Jungfrau Joch. Work on his Jungfrau railway began in the 1890s, and it would last 16 gruelling years. Workers had to be transported on site by a team of huskies and struggled to cut through 10 kilometers of rock in extreme conditions. As the route climbed higher, there were more and more fatalities. Workers went on strike six times until bosses raised wages and agreed to supplement every man's salary with a bottle of red wine every evening. In February 1912, the Jungfrau Railway finally opened carrying people to what remains the highest railway station in Europe. An almost impossible dream had been realised. The original line was electrified by Brown Bavarian Co, the forerunner to ABB. And today, more than a century later, ABB technology continues to energise these lines while ABB traction transformers on board give these trains the power to bring people up the slopes all year round. The peak of engineering technology at the top of Europe. <laughs>